Hello everyone, and this is Goofy Gamer, aka Mr. Money, with round two. Good luck, have fun with the sealed phantom. Yes, I'll play first. Black white. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Don't have any black, but that's not a problem. We got a two drop, and I mean, heck, we could get a crone phalanx on turn four, and then. Heck, that's just awesome. Ooh, a black deck. Sweet. I was just thinking to myself, wouldn't it be neat to have the Vanguard come out and then Bremaz comes out the very next turn? Like, that would just be so many cats. So many cats. So yeah, he's going to need a black mana and an asphyxiate. River Trawler for no value. So he's tapped out. I have a trick. My computer locked up. Alright, so we got some power on board. We are putting the work in. What you got to say to that? You got to say double block? No? Alright. Well, that's cool. Okay. Now all we need is a black man and get the sentry up. Chorus of the Tides, you say. Well, now he could triple block. yeah, if he triple blocks, he gets my vanguard. Or my, my full-on Bremaz. Will you trade the tormented hero for the vanguard? No. All right. I really just need to draw some black mana, and then I'll feel really good about anything I do. Okay. He's just going to let two slide. Mm-hmm. Minotaur. Minotaur. And he's pretty stuck on mana. But then again, so am I.
So he's just going to let that happen, huh? Okay. Well, I can cast everything in my deck besides anything that's double black. and feel pretty good about that. I could do a couple white card plays. Six, seven, if I draw for an eight. And I could do Necrobite. Ooh, he has a temple. Hey, oh. Temple for the win. But it still seems like he's only got so much mana in his hand. And he's got one person that can't block at all. Yeah, and probably five drops all day. Ordeal. Now, if I put the Ordeal on Bremaz, that makes him a five. And then I could destroy a chorus of the tides. And I still have divine verdict mana up. He could have a grip tide. Or an annul. Okay. Wonder if he's just gonna let this slide. Uh, no, he's going for it. Make that trade. Now he needs to put out another blocker. Rage of Perforos. Oh no. There goes my board state. Might as well just divine verdict now. And one more black mana. If I get one swamp, I'm back in this. One swamp. Oh, okay. Oh, a whole bunch of black cards. Splash in the rage. Or he's doing three colors and just hasn't found a mountain yet. Uh-oh, he's going to play another creature. Not a Nyxborn Triton. All right. So if he has another Annul, that would be bad news, Bears. If he has a Voyager Zen, that wouldn't be so fun. to deal with this creature and hope that I don't have a pump of some kind.
If he does just take out the cat soldier, then I still have the lamp ad. Black. I mean, he could have a Titan strength, so that's 2, 4, 6, plus 3. That's not going to be enough. Now, if he plays a uh, planes and then uh, a white creature of some kind, benthic giant, sweet, sweet benthic giant. All right, attack in for three, and then that's the game. All right, so we won that one. Um, I will see. Okay, so he's playing black. So he did have a rather slow start. Although this last breath might be pretty good. He did have a lot of two toughness creatures. And then. I could bring in one Revoke Existence. Take out. Well, with that Benthic Giant. I'm thinking I want to take out the Gray Merchant. I mean, I don't really have that much in the way of... Devotion. And maybe the Skirmisher might be a little... Eh. Now we only have 13 creatures. What the F? Um, kind of like the ordeal for like the tormented hero and maybe the revoke existence because I did only see the one target for it now I'm thinking that the gray merchant can come back in so we'll submit it like that and then I'll come back for game two